I'm going to teach you how to construct a perpendicular bisector. Um, in your notes, it says to place the needle of the compass on point A. So I'm going to put it on point A. And then it says to extend the pencil over half the distance of AB. So in other words, you want it anywhere between here and here. You don't want it to go past B and you don't want it to be less than half. So right where it is is probably just right for me because it's in between those two. Um, make a very large arc that extends well above and well below the segment. So in other words, um, I'm gonna do it like this. You could actually just do a little one above and a little one below. You could do it either way. Um, in other words, you could just do a little one here and a little one down here. It doesn't have to be this whole thing. But what you want is about in the middle, you can kind of guess where it is. You want the arc to go past about that middle line. Okay, now I have not changed my compass setting. If you look, it's the exact same. If I put it on A, it touches that arc, so you don't want to change it. So it says, without changing the size of your compass, place the needle on point B. And create another large arc so that it intersects the arc from step one twice, above and below it. All right, so we have to draw another great big arc of course, you don't have to do a great big one. You could just do it like that. So it depends. If you feel more comfortable doing the whole thing, do the whole thing. If not, you can just do little ones. Um, the problem with making the first one little is you it may not be long enough. And so I really suggest that you might make the first one really big. Um, unless you're just really good at guessing where the middle is. That works too. So we're supposed to label these intersections C and D. And then we connect them using a straight edge. And now that's your perpendicular bisector. This does create 90 degree angles on all three of these angles. And the way that we write this is that AB, so segment AB, is perpendicular to, that's the symbol for perpendicular, CD. 